Hi, this is Nancy from Food Anthropology and my son Hans. And today I'm just going to briefly talk about cucumbers. And we belong to a local compost collective here in Shelby, North Carolina. And we were out there the other day harvesting what was available. It was actually a part of a community garden as well. So the compost and the community garden are together. And we were out there the other day harvesting some of the vegetables that were there and emptying compost buckets and, and doing the like. And check out my chain also. So we all know that cucumbers typically look like this beautiful green, uh, I mean, pretty, pretty firm. Mm -hmm. But occasionally we come across the vine and we find what, Hans? Cucumber. And this cucumber compared to this cucumber is very different. Now there are varieties of cucumbers out there that are yellow. Uh, lemon cucumber is one of them. But this particular cucumber is it was probably one? on the vine too long. Uh, as I was researching, may have had inconsistent watering. Now we've had bouts of rain, bouts of high heat. And another thing is, is there are lot, lots of heat uh, that could have gotten to this. And typically, when you see that on your vine, I mean, most people will ignore it. Hopefully, hopefully you'll compost it if you don't want to eat it. It's probably typically not eaten, because uh, you'll find on a lot of the research that you do yourself, maybe online, that it can be bitter. Well, Hans started cutting into it, and so I wanted to check it out, because if it's not bitter, if it just happens to have been unfortunate in hot sun and not very good watering, it may still be edible. And as this particular series is all about food waste, I want to try and prevent wasting that cucumber. So why don't you continue to cut into it a little bit. So we need to do and I'll... Um, but first we need to wash it off, so I'm going to dip my hand in this cup of water in it, and I'm going to rub it on it, that way it's nice and clean. So I've made little cuts right here, so that way I know what to cut. So first we're going to cut right there. And this is what you want to get. I'm going to keep cutting so we can see what it tastes like. <coughs> So I'm going to take this cucumber and we're just going to go ahead and give it a try. Actually, I'm going to take the peel off. Okay. That's all right. Okay. So first, I'm, first, I mean, because I don't want to ingest something that's not going to be good. I'm just going to put the water on this one before we cut it. You know what? It's really not bad. It doesn't have the bitter taste that a lot of uh, others had suggested. And you don't need much water to clean these off. Just like wet your hand and then rub it on it and that's it. It's a it's a tougher, uh, though, but otherwise than that, it tastes fine. So what I'm going to do with this after we finish peeling it is probably one of several things. One is I could freeze it. Uh, I, I actually put a lot of cucumber in my smoothies. I could put it in tzatziki, which... I actually have yogurt downstairs, and that's one of my favorite things to do with, with cucumbers. And then also, it's, cucumbers is a really nice soup ingredient. And we don't typically in the United States have uh, cucumber soup, but once, uh, my parents lived in Thailand, and I was introduced to cucumber soup, where they had much, much smaller cucumbers stuffed with uh, some kind of meat, but you could probably use rice or if you were vegetarian. But I generally just kind of just stuck it in different types of uh, vegetable soups and I found it really nice uh, additive to the soup. And if I get my bimesis, whatever it is called today, um, we will be doing a video of us crystallizing it. Okay, so Hans, is, as he keeps talking in several of my videos, is also trying to start his own uh, gaming video. But for now, we're talking about food waste and how to... Never not waste a particular cucumber that you may find in your garden that's gotten a little extra large and yellowed. 
Now, again, do your own research. Uh, if it is bitter, I mean, I don't like bitter either. So go ahead, I, go ahead and compost it. Don't chuck it in your trash, compost it. And if not, if it's like one of these, where it actually still has some really nice flavor to it, go ahead and use it in your favorite recipes. Now, thank you. Can do this.